today I am doing a fun Halloween video where I am sharing with you four different Halloween drinks that you can serve at your Halloween party, plus a little bonus tip at the end. These drinks are so, so easy. I don't know about you, but whenever I throw a party, I am so busy with cleaning my house and doing decorations and food and everything else that goes along with throwing a party. And sometimes I forget to do the whole drink side of it, but these drinks are so easy. They pretty much take the same amount of effort as going to the store and picking up water and soda, maybe just one or two more steps, but it really add such a fun element to the party that I think will take your Halloween party up a notch. But not only are these Halloween drinks so easy to make and put together, they're also really yummy and really fun that again, I think will really take your Halloween party to the next level and something that I think that your guests will really enjoy. So the first drink is a Bloody Mary, but we're gonna put a fun, kind of Halloween spin on it. So for this recipe, you are going to need Sprite, grenadine, cherries, and then I got these cups that are kind of like blood pint cups from Amazon. And the awesome thing was that I ordered them on Monday and they were here Tuesday morning, so you gotta love Amazon Prime. So I will link those cups down below. If you have like a party coming up this weekend, you definitely have time to hurry up and order them and get them in time. But you can also just use clear cups and you might be able to find these cups that I got at a store. Um, but again, if you can't, you can just use clear cups. And then you're gonna need syringes. And I was actually able to find my syringes at Party City in the Halloween section. So to assemble these, you're just going to put a couple little cherries at the bottom of the cup. And then I went ahead and poured some of the grenadine inside of a cup just to make it easier to suck up with this syringe. And then you can set these out on your food table. And then when your guests come, they can just pour themselves some Sprite and then squirt some of the grenadine into their little cups. That's one of the reasons why I like this recipe is that it's very customizable. I just want a little bit of the grenadine inside of my Sprite, whereas Joe likes a lot of grenadine. And so your guests can kind of decide how much of the grenadine to release. And it just definitely gives it a fun, cool effect that I think your guests will really love. So the next drink I'm gonna make is a really fun worm drink that I think the kids would really love. So for this recipe, you are going to need some lemon lime soda, and then you can either get some green Hawaiian punch or some green apple Gatorade, some gummy worms or some sour worms, and then a muffin tin. So to make this drink, you are first going to get your little gummy worms and put them on the bottom of the muffin tin and then pour the green Gatorade over the worms just to where they're covered. And when you're done with that, you're just going to pop it in your freezer. It'll take about two to three hours for them to freeze, but I just did them overnight to make it really easy. And then when your guests arrive, you can pop out the little discs, put them in a clear cup, and then pour some Sprite over top. And then I added another splash of the green Gatorade to add a little bit more flavoring as well as some more color. I think out of all the drinks, these are my favorite as far as flavor goes. They are so yummy, especially as that disc starts to melt, it releases more of like that sour flavor and more of the green apple flavor. So it kind of changes as you go. The ice does melt very quickly. I would say within about five minutes of you pouring the Sprite over top, the ice will be fully melted and the worms will be floating around. So it's really fun to kind of see that happen, but you definitely don't want to add the little worm ice cubes to your cups until the guests are there and ready to drink up. The next recipe is a jack-o'-lantern float. And for this recipe, you are going to need some orange soda, some vanilla ice cream, and then some jack-o'-lantern cups. I couldn't find any, so I just got clear cups and then drew my own little jack-o'-lantern faces on them. So to make this, you're going to pour a little bit of the orange soda into your cup and then add a spoonful of vanilla ice cream and then top it off with some orange soda. This basically tastes like a drink version of orange creamsicles. It's super, super yummy. Again, it would be a great drink if you are going to a party because you would just have to grab your cups and your orange soda and then you can assemble it there. And it's definitely fun watching the drinks foam. And so it's definitely something that you want to do while the guests are there and really have them be involved with it. 
They also don't keep very well, which I think will be kind of a fun part of the entertainment for your party. The last drink is a vampire drink that I think is just so fun and it is so, so easy to put together. So for this recipe, you are just gonna need some Sprite and then some of the squirtable Kool-Aid in the cherry flavor, some clear cups, and then some vampire things. You also need ice. Ice is definitely very important in this recipe because it helps with the effect. So you're just going to put some ice in your cups and then pour over the Sprite and then put your fangs on top. And then just before you're ready to serve it to your guests, you're going to squirt a little bit of the Kool-Aid to the side of the cup. And it gives a really, really fun, cool effect as well as adds some really yummy flavoring to the Sprite. And the ice definitely helps the Kool-Aid to not mix immediately into the Sprite and helps with that cool effect that kind of makes it look like blood is drizzling down into your drink. And then the last little bonus tip that I have is if you are serving water at your party and you kind of want to spruce up your water and make it a little bit more festive for your Halloween party, you can just take some ice cube trays and then put in some spiders pour in some water and then put it in your freezer. And then at your party, you can add the little spider ice cubes to your water pitcher and it gives a really fun spidery effect. So those are all of my Halloween party drinks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I actually filmed this and I was making the drinks and tasting them on camera. And when I watched the footage back, I wasn't in focus. So <laughs> I had to kind of quickly refilm this part of it. So I'm sorry if I didn't taste anything on camera, but I can assure you that everything was super, super yummy. So again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also share it with a friend if you know of somebody throwing a Halloween party this year. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.